In your experimentation from the last video, you may have found one slight difference between using the transformation manipulators and the hotkeys. That is, that the transformation manipulators allow you to manipulate an object across a single axis and not others. So for example, if I wanted to move this cube solely along the Y or green axis in Blender, I'd click on the green arrow and it moves solely along the Y axis. But when we're using the grab function or pressing G, the hotkey, You'll notice that when we try and move it across the y-axis, it either ends up in front of or behind the 3D axis we're trying to move it along. So how can we specify a specific axis for our cube to move along or scale or rotate upon when using hotkeys? Let's look at that. This is actually a pretty simple concept and I'm sure you guys will get it pretty quick. So we learned in the previous video that G, R, and S are our three transform hotkeys. And if we pair these with the axis letter of any of our three 3D axes, meaning X, Y, or Z, we can transform it across that specific axis. Let me show you guys an example that might help explain that a little bit better. First, I'm going to reset my cube back to the center here by pressing Control Z or Undo. So I want to move my cube across the Y axis. So I'll press G to grab. And by doing so, my cube is now moving, but it's not sticking to the Y axis. In order to stick it to the y-axis, I'm going to press Y. Once we have a transform operator in check, if we press any sort of 3D axis hotkey, it locks our uh, 3D object to transform only on that axis. So here I pressed G for grab and then Y, and now it's only moving across the y-axis. We'll put this back at the center and try something else. Let's press G again to grab, and then we'll press Z for the z-axis. Now, our 3D object only moves up and down on the z-axis, and no matter how much I move my mouse side to side, it won't leave that z-axis. Again, if I press G and then X, we can move it across the x-axis. This transformation hotkey plus axis letter formula goes along for all of the different transformations. For example, if I wanted to scale this solely across the x-axis, I could press S followed by X. By doing so, you can see that we now scale across just the x-axis. Or if I wanted to make it taller, I could press S and then Z to scale across the z-axis. Additionally, if I wanted to rotate it now across, say, the y-axis, I would say, um, sorry, that's S, we'll press R and then Y to rotate it across the y-axis, just like so. Again, I very strongly recommend that you practice using these hotkeys because it's super important you learn them. Hotkeys are an enormous part of Blender, and if you don't learn them early on, you're going to struggle later on. So learn them now so you can get a step ahead of everybody else.